the shows from this past season, Keep Your Hands Off Izokin is, I think, the perfect counterpoint to Shirabako. Shirabako was a show about the business and process of making anime. It's about what goes into the shows you watch every week. Izokin, the latest show from Science Saru, um, is a show that is much more about the joy of creation. Keep Your Hands Off Izokin follows a trio of high school students. Midori Asakusa, a student who is primarily in terms of her focus about anime with uh, setting and, from de and detail there and background art and some mechanical design and is very curious and imaginative but not very sociable. Second is Subame uh, Mizuaki, I'm horribly mispronouncing these and I apologize, a very successful model whose parents want her to be an actor while she wants to be an animator and particularly what draws her animation is her keen eye for movement. And finally, Sayaka Kanamori, a childhood friend of Midori, who is much less interested in anime than the other two, but who wants to help them succeed and has the emotional distance from what they're doing to rein the two in when they, when the two get too far out there. The three girls end up forming the film club, or Eizouken, at their high school, as the anime club is less interested in making anime and more interested in talking about it, and Tsubame's parents forbid her from joining the anime club anyway. Each arc of the show follows the three on an animation project, starting with a test project for the student council to make sure they get their funding, one commissioned by one of the school's clubs, and finally a project intended for sale. Now, Eizouken has a tremendous sense of visual style. Most, if not all, episodes include a wonderfully animated uh, dreamscape sequence as the three, and occasionally some other people they rope into the sequences imagine a world related to their art or their project. These sequences often, though not always, have a very deliberately sketchy stylistic feel. Not sketchy in terms of poor, but sketchy in terms of done in a sketch style. Like, in some cases, because it's using art taken directly from a sketch pad. Complete with sound effects being done not as more polished professional sound effects, but as onomatopoeia, um, rather than using conventional foley work. These sequences do a great job of showcasing the dynamics between the characters in terms of how each of them interact with each other and with the imagination sequences, uh, both in terms of their imagination, as well as Subame kind of sticking in a head in every now and then to keep them grounded or to keep the sequence grounded to a certain extent. In turn, director Masaki Yuasa's studio, Science Saru, which Yuasa has recently retired as of this recording, does a tremendous job of showcasing their own love for anime as an art form, doing tributes to other directors, particularly Hayao Miyazaki, while also showing that Miyazaki is not the only creator worthy of praise. Um, I mean, in anime, is that, that's not too surprising. Again, like if you're heavily involved in the field, certainly... Jirobako spread the love around as well. But it's still a nice thing worth having, worth bringing up, considering that, well, most people, when, like, outside of anime fandom, tend to focus more on Miyazaki. And it also, should, not only should be a creator worthy of praise, but also it doesn't get into the more purient elements showcased in shows like Genshiken, or even kind of showed up some in, uh, Hirobako as well. Keep Your Hands Up, Ken is uh, probably one of the, not probably, it is in my opinion one of the best shows of the winter 2020 season. And definitely, definitely worth your time. It is currently available for streaming on Crunchyroll, subtitled only. No physical release has been announced as of this recording. When one is available, there will be a link to where you can get it in the show notes below. The manga version has also been licensed by Dark Horse, but they haven't announced a release date as yet. So once it becomes available for purchase, I will stick the show stick that information in the show notes below as well. Watch that space. So while we're all stuck at home, if you're looking for something that will spark your creative influence impulses and influence you to do and make new things. Izokin is certainly a great show to do that. Till next time, stay safe and wash your hands.
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.